Today, we're exploring the various parts and operations of an oily water separator, a crucial device for separating oil from bilge water before it's discharged overboard. So, let's dive in. In an oily water separator, the separation takes place in two chambers. The first chamber is called the primary chamber, situated on top, and the secondary chamber with the coalescence filter fitted at the bottom. Let's examine the primary chamber. Bilge water enters the primary chamber, which features a heating coil to assist in oil separation. Steam enters and leaves the heating coil through designated inlets and outlets, as shown. Additional components in this chamber include an oil level probe, oil discharge valve, pressure gauge, thermometer, and an air release valve. Now, let's take a look at the secondary chamber. The bilge water then flows through a strainer before entering the secondary chamber. A coalescence filter is fitted in the secondary chamber. This chamber also has a manhole door, an oil level probe, and an oil discharge valve. A sampling line from the secondary chamber's outlet is taken to the oil content monitor, which also receives fresh water for flushing. Now, we will look at the valves and controller. A three-way valve directs the effluent from the secondary chamber either overboard or to a bilge holding tank. An overboard valve and a three-way line for manual testing are also included in the system. This is the controller, and this is the panel board. The panel board controls the operation of the bilge pump. The bilge pump has suction lines for seawater, bilge water from the bilge holding tank, and a discharge line to the oily water separator. Now we'll go through the operation of the oily water separator. To operate the separator, first open the seawater inlet valve. Next, open the bilge pump discharge valve. It is followed by opening the secondary chamber outlet valve. This is followed by opening the overboard valve for the effluent. Now, we are going to start the bilge water pump. First, switch on the breaker for the bilge water pump. Next, start the controller switch. Now, start the bilge water pump, and as the pressure builds, the primary chamber starts filling up. After filling up the primary chamber, the water flows into the secondary chamber. We can see the water coming out of the coalescence filter and filling up the secondary chamber. After filling up the secondary chamber, water exits through the three-way valve to the overboard line when the oil content is less than 15 ppm. Next, open the steam inlet and outlet valves for heating. This enhances the gravity separation process. Now, open the bilge line valve and close the seawater line valve to allow bilge water into the primary chamber. 
In the primary chamber, the oil globules rise and collect on top. When the oil level probe senses oil, the oil discharge valve opens, directing oil to the sludge tank. Now, we can see what is happening in the secondary chamber. In the secondary chamber, we can see the globules of oil and the finer oil particles, which were not separated in the primary chamber, rise and collect on top. When the oil level probe detects oil, it opens the oil discharge valve, directing oil to the sludge tank. If the oil content meter senses over 15 ppm of oil, it closes the discharge to the overboard. Once the oil content is below 15 ppm, the discharge reopens to the overboard line. Oil collected in both chambers is removed through their respective oil discharge outlet valves, which close when the process is completed. And that's how an oily water separator functions. Thank you for joining us on this educational journey. Be sure to subscribe to HIMT's YouTube channel for more informative videos.